time with me. Let me open your mind and your imagination to what possibilities exist for companionship in this brave new world. A world where robots coexist with humankind, where intelligence becomes artificial, where tangible becomes virtual, and where life is code. For some of us, this intangible world exists on Instagram or in our dreams. But it is possible that these dreams do become reality. My story is based on the real-life adventures of my partner and her family. It encapsulates the magic of an inanimate companion and brings to life my character through the animation of Alan. Consider the possibility of human desires succumbing to the animation of an inanimate. Certainly the human brain has the ability to store and replay an amalgam of pleasing sensations, a music note to strum our axons, and reflected emotions bouncing off glass eyes back to the giver. Everyone wants to believe in a little magic. With technology interface, communication has depersonalized from poetry to sentences, short text messages to tweets, and on to bits and bytes. It is human nature to stretch beyond imagination, to look what possibilities lie beyond. Verbal communication reduced to an echo of one's thoughts. Yes, somewhere there's music. How faint the tune. I started on a factory belt in Africa, one of thousands of clones. Then, someone rescued me from a shelf of spent toys. This special someone dressed me and gave me a name, Alan. And as my character and personality evolved, I became her partner. My vulnerability, that I need to be carried and protected from harm, is endearing to my partner, who feels an overwhelming responsibility to protect. And yes! Please, love me do. For my family, they have dared to see things differently, taken me out of the closet, challenged the status quo, and given me life. In the eyes of some, they may be regarded as the misfits who have dared to dream of blurring the lines between humans and inanimates. But wait, there's more. With artificial intelligence, Communication between humans and inanimates on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter may just be an algorithm away. It does make perfect sense. about being at Inc. is regardless the chaos of the world out there, we are here. A room full of people, a body of people, in quest for knowledge, inspiration, and imagination. I'd like you to indulge in a dose of imagination and join me in understanding Alan, you've just heard her. And regardless your age, I'd like you to delve into your childhood, bring up some memories, and join me on a journey of pure imagination into the future of companionship. So how many of us have an Alan from the past? perhaps lying on a bedroom shelf or in the basement in a box of spent toys to occasionally appear in our dreams or as an illusion. It does seem an illusion right now. <laughs> 
but a plush companion that journeys intelligently with us through childhood and beyond may not be fantasy for too long. Dreams do become reality. The August 2017 issue of the Financial Times reported that Chinese singles are offered plush companions at restaurants. This is driven by the rapid growth of China's adult population living alone, from 77 million to a projected 92 million by 2021. The Boston Consulting Group estimates this to be 16% of China's urban population. So what if a plush inanimate could communicate intelligently as a future companion? Science fiction? Fantasy? In my career, scalpel in hand, I have experienced technologies develop from science fiction to reality. In playing my role as a surgeon, replacing, repairing, and reconstructing life and life parts, I've always been on the brink of life and non-life. From harvesting organs from executed and brain-dead donors to 3D printing organs on demand. And I have watched myself evolve from a conventional surgeon to a robotic surgeon, from standing beside the patient to being seated away from the patient, head immersed in a console with a stereoscopic, magnified view of the operative field. In fact, I've been a robotic surgeon since the turn of the century, along with many thousands of other robotic surgeons worldwide. We are on the cusp of not just a robotics revolution, but an evolution. Today, robots come in all shapes and forms, from hunks of metal to autonomous robots that walk on two legs, swim, navigate the streets, even conduct an orchestra. The new materials have ushered in an era of humanoid robot forms, some so lifelike as Sophia, to be conferred citizenship to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Today, robots are starting to command those jobs where patience and precision are key, as in sophisticated actuators that perform precision surgery. Tomorrow, autonomous robots may replace human surgeons. At the speed of development, futurists predict that we will have conscious and intelligent machines sometime in 2020. Conscious and intelligent machines. This leads me to imagine that a plush inanimate like Alan, embedded with an AI program and a suite of senses, may be enabled to process visual and conversational data, see our faces, and start to build relationships. And as AI programs learn to empathize, it may be that we start to accept inanimate companions in our human culture, or at least embark on a journey of discovery into a fascinating alternative reality where artists and scientists come together to blur our physical, emotional, and intellectual reactions to the illusion that inanimates are alive or lifelike. And with the music element, the audience hears the story better. So thank you, Joy, for lending your voice to Alan. I was born in the jungles of Tanzania A chasing birds, squirrels and fawns A tumbling down hills and rocks Leaping from trees I was born I was born to be free Snuff me out, 
shots that go through the dream I shattered my form, my soul set free Stripped to form it proud Drifted for days, crawled jungles and sea I made a soft landing Born again, captive yet free I found a little girl who looked like me Her name was Christina and she let me be Oh yeah! Thank you.